All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Hope you guys are doing well. Having a good week so far. Um, we're gonna see if we can keep the the win streak alive and well. Haven't lost in over a week at this point. We do have a couple things on the agenda today as far as news events. It's just these medium impact folders. FOMC member Waller speaking at 11 a.m. Central, so that's noon um, New York. So literally right at the beginning of New York lunch hour. I'm anticipating that to not have any bearing on how this am session goes i'm looking to not trade pm session today at all because there's another event um you know first event is right during new york lunch second event is going to be kind of like smack dab in the middle of pm session so i'm really only looking to trade am session today and as far as where we are at in price we had a pretty big range yesterday both i guess taking out um sell side initially in the morning and then taking out buy side uh later in the uh, I'm sorry, later uh, in the in the AM session into lunch, and then in the PM session, we saw price roll back over after taking out those levels of buy side that we were uh, initially aiming for on our long positions. So um, right now, I guess with where we're at in price here on the one hour time frame, I was initially looking at this uh, one hour fair value gap right here on E-mini S&P. Over here on the left, we got NASDAQ on the right. So looking at these inefficiencies for potential... Um, for a potential bounce right now at the looks of this one hour candle it's almost looking to me like this gap is not going to hold and this all these lows might become low resistance liquidity run here on the one hour so i'm kind of leaning a little bit more that way for the time being that could change though um you know we see nasdaq holding here let's look at the one hour chart um, this is high resistance liquidity run over here because this low came down and took this liquidity already. So I'm I'm still a little bit neutral. I'm not completely married one way or the other. Um, I'm I'm willing to kind of anticipate and react regardless of what price wants to show us here. So um, so right here we've got opening range high all the way up there too. That'd be a nice that'd be a nice target. <laughs> but yeah, this opening range high would be target one. Um, as far as everything else goes, we got to mark out the, uh, I guess the London highs should be right here. Oops. London highs right here. Asia. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. This would actually be our London high. Asia, I guess, is right here. So we got all this liquidity kind of right up in here. Still have this liquidity left from yesterday that didn't get taken on NQ. We'll see how big of a range we get today. Not on NQ. You know what? I don't mind it, though. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to get long here on ES just because we got a fair value gap, a cleaner entry offered to us at the moment. Um... I'm gonna do this for right now, guys. I'm gonna delete this buy limit on ES. I'm gonna I like NAS more. Because the, the structure was more bullish to begin with. But yeah, entry right at equilibrium, nothing nothing too crazy. Um I am being a little bit stingy kind of with the stop. I mean, the safest stop obviously would be all the way down here at this low. I just don't think we really need to you know, hopefully we don't need to have a stop that big. Okay, triggered in. So up to you guys, partial here or here. It's totally up to you. Nice. I'm going risk free though, for sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. Selling one back right now. I'm trying not to get screwed because I got to modify this quickly. So I'm trying not to have it like run through there and put me in a trade. All right. So I'm out one contract there. You might be all out. Yeah. It was one to two. So that's not bad at all. ES did run this. So we'll see if we get some follow through. Here's what I'm going to do. If this, for whatever reason, wicks down and closes back below the low, I might just close both of them. Just to be safe, man. Like, why not? If we close above, I'm going to hold it. All right, we closed above. I'm holding it. 
<laughs> yeah, I passed the 100k one yesterday finally. So now let's see if we can knock out this 150k. ticket okay all right tp hit 67 points how about that guys got a nice trade and we didn't even catch the move of the morning yet well we don't know what the move of this just yet but it looks like it's looks like it's drawing to here so anyway guys so that's what we'll plan for for tomorrow enjoy the rest of your guys is wednesday hope you guys have been enjoying the win streak um and not been you know, over trading, giving profits back to the market, any of that sort of stuff. Um, these are these are the times in trading when you can really get ahead and just stack and stack and stack and stack. And it's uh, obviously this this isn't going to last forever, but when these moments come, it's just about staying patient, staying smart, continuing to stack, being happy with enough, being willing to walk away, not playing with profits, not giving anything back. Right? That's not that's not what we want to do. We're here to get our peace and get out and live to trade another day. And that's exactly what we've been doing. So, um, uh, six days in a row now, six days of winning trades, I think, told, uh, officially, something like that. So that is where we're at, guys. Enjoy your Wednesday. If you guys do need anything today, feel free to reach out or drop a message in the, uh, the Discord. Otherwise, uh, I'm planning on being done for the day, walking away. We got that FOMC member speaking again later today anyway, two times yet. So, I'm um, walking away for the day, and I will see you guys on the session tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Enjoy your guys' Wednesday. Peace out. If you need anything, reach out. Talk to you guys later.